Okay, George Seertz's poem Song is an, one of those poems that um, in the collection that looks at the power of art and politics and change. Does art actually do anything? Um, and this, this is a hopeful poem that seems to suggest yes. It's also one that makes us think about, you know, the origins of poetry in terms of a form, in terms of uh, music, the musicality uh, of poetry uh, to be to be to be spoken out loud, to be sung, um, to music, uh, and and that 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 aspect of it um, as as one of the uh, origins of the form. Um, okay, so let's start. Nothing happens until something does. Everything remains just as it was, and all you hear is the distant buzz of nothing happening till something does. So you get that repetition, of course, and you get this rhyme already. And this is this idea is going to be continued and varied in the poem. So the idea here is that there is... The general state of being is nothing, and and uh, stasis, and nothing is happening. Everything's staying the same, and in the background there's this kind of buzz, and you hear it, you hear it, you hear it, and then all of a sudden, nothing's happening, and then all of a sudden, there's a moment or something occurs. And here are some examples of that. A lot of small hands in a monstrous, like huge hall can make the air vibrate and even shake the wall. Okay, we still get this rhyme, vibrate, plate, tip, ship. Okay, what is it? A, okay, small hands, contrast, small with monstrous and and what happens is when all these hands work together they clap together they fill and they, they actually make the wall shake and vibrate um, in terms of a voice music again uh, it can break things when at the right pitch, and a pale feather tip, the balance on a sinking ship. So here's the ship, it's falling, it's sinking, and the last little teeniest thing, tiny feather, not just a feather, but its tip, the very end, the tiniest small little thing can tip something over into sinking. Um, I don't know about that last one, whether it's true or not, but what we can see here is the image of smallness, insignificance, coming together to do something, to change something. All of this is in italics because it's the refrain, it's the thing that we go back to, it's the thing that we repeat. It's the idea that is repeated in this song, and it's what we come back to at the end. It's the very same tune that has been sung time and again by those whose heavy fate was hung on the weight that they oppose, the weight by which are crushed the broken voices of the hushed. So, this heaviness, this heavy destiny, the heavy destiny of people who are broken and quieted, silenced, silenced, intimidated people um, have always had this song, always repeated this idea. And, and what idea is that? The idea is that um, certain, give certain people a place to stand a lever, a fulcrum, a weight, however small the hand, the object, however great, it is possible to prove um, 
that even earth may be made to move. Now, I can't remember who, what ancient Greek philosopher argued, it'll come to me in a second, um, but this is a fulcrum, okay? And what he argued is, if you had a fulcrum, and you had a weight that was heavy enough, I'll put a little barbell there, um, you could move anything. And this image, this image is what's being used here, is that, um, well, what's interesting is certain people. I don't understand what these certain people are with broken voices. That has just occurred to me. These are the oppressed. These are the people who are silenced, crushed, hushed, broken. Um, if we give, and then, if we give them a place, a lever, a fulcrum, and a weight. No matter how big what it is that we're fighting, you can move the earth. So the idea here is, and again, you get these rhymes, hand, stand, prove, move. You get these, this, the, this pattern of sound that interconnects all the ideas in this poem, which is that smallness is not weakness. Um, we have nothing and then something. Nothing happens until something does. We go back to the beginning, but now we don't have the full stops. We have, we have a continuation. Nothing happens until something does. And hands, however small, fill the air. So the buzz of the broken hit fills, uh, the buzz of the broken fills the hall as levers and fulcrum shift and the heart, like a weight, begins to lift. So we get the, the images from the poem kind of condensing here and coming together. Um, the small hands come together. They make a buzz. They fill the hall. The the, these levers and fulcrums are shifting. And the heart is the weight. Emotion lifts us. Passion takes us somewhere else. And nothing happens until something does. Everything remains just as it was. Just we're right, we're just repeating the first stanza almost entirely. And all you hear is the distant buzz of nothing happening. And then something does. This punctuation changes. The till turns into a stop. What's the effect? Here, here we get something has happened. Something has happened. Something will happen. At the beginning of the poem, it's speculation. But by the end of the poem, we have this concept that, um, you know, that of the political, given hope, working together, Uh, there can come a change. And the idea of all these small things come together and they move, they change, they move, they fill. And what are they fighting? They're fighting the weight of opposition, silence, and nothing which is really what this poem is trying to address. So, the idea of a song, um, the idea that art could bring people together in this moment to, to mobilize them towards something, I think is what this poem is really trying to get to grips with. I think it's a deceptively simple poem. I think the repetition and that those very small modifications make it confusing, ironically. But I think the message is really quite simple, that when uh, it feels like nothing's happening and then something happens. And what causes something to happen is a lot of small little things, little people getting together and, and using tools to oppose. Are those tools art? Perhaps. Are they song here? Perhaps.